the road is now clear for General Motors to emerge from bankruptcy later today in record time. CBS News correspondent Dean Reynolds has the latest from Detroit. Good morning, Dean. Good morning, Maggie. Well, the new GM is a lot leaner than the old GM in terms of brands and employees, and 60% of it will be owned by the federal government. To reach this point, the new GM is losing a lot of weight. Pontiac, Hummer, Saab, and Saturn will be discarded like old coats. Only Buick, Chevrolet, Cadillac, and GMC will survive. Some 14,000 hourly workers will be shown the door, along with about 4,000 white-collar employees by next year. And of nearly 6,000 current dealers, 2,300 will be closed. Indeed, GM may even switch logo colors from blue to green to stress an environmentally friendly side. They are absolutely going to have to learn a new way of doing business. The deal will cost taxpayers $50 billion, but without the money, GM would have collapsed and its remaining jobs would have gone down with it, along with a host of suppliers and their workers too. A cascading disaster in the midst of a recession that the White House wanted desperately to avoid. Now, as for people who bought cars and trucks from the old GM, the new GM says warranties will be honored for vehicles bought before and during bankruptcy. Maggie? CBS's Dean Reynolds. Thanks, Dean.